Bag fuel, baby. Bag fuel, we in the building, special edition. You know, we bringing y'all sports right now. First, we have Rod Strickland. I got my man, H-Y-N-A-K-E-N, right next to me. And we got one of my best friends in the entire world today, Sahin Holloway, head coach, City Hall University, Southside Jamaica, Queens native, though, because all y'all think he's from Jersey. Facts. Why you uh, why you froze when you said his name? Like, does he got like a special nickname in him? Nah, I, I, I was gonna say something smart, but I chose not to. I gotta keep it corporate, you know. He works for a Seton Hall, so you know what I'm saying. I gotta keep Catholic it clean. School. I gotta keep it clean. Yeah, and I know you don't do these type of things too often. We've been trying to get you on our show for like what? How, how long, huh? About a year and a half to two years? About and all three like, years, really. Three years. <laughs> trying to get him on the show. <laughs> now you guys been too big time for me, man. Yeah, get out of here, show. Man, you, you guys want to do everybody else first, and then you know just just throw me in. No, so whatever. I, you know, whatever. Listen, 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 man. I play. Listen, man. I play my lane. It's good. It's all good. You know. I get it. You know. I, I actually want to talk to you about a, a few things. First, I'm going to tell you about St. Patrick Elizabeth first. Uh -huh. Now, it's, it's the Patrick School. Yep. I actually believe, well, I think I, I, I know that you was the first one, I think, to crack the doors open and give them national um, your recognition. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how does it feel seeing all the people that have followed you there, from Kyrie Irving to Al Harrington, and to where the school's now? School is like one of the dominant powers turning out yeah. kids. Like, you, know, not, you know what? I mean, Rand, you know, like you've been around since day one. You know, it, it was, it's a blessing, right? It, it's a blessing to have the opportunity to have come to Jersey um, from Queens and, you know, have an opportunity to play on, on that platform, right? And, and kind of get a, a program that nobody knew nothing about, right? And kind of blow it up. And then, obviously, after I left, you know, it just took it to another, another level, right? Uh, but, yeah, no, it, it was good. You know, it was the coach at the time, uh, Kevin Boyer, who is now the head coach of Malvert. Mm. You know, that's the best oh, high school yeah. program okay. in, in, in Florida now. You know, that's uh, he was the coach. And now the coach of the Patrick School is Christian Vannis, who was assistant coach. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, that, you know, it was, it was, you know, it was blood, sweat, and tears, you know, to get that thing going. And, you know, after me, then the other guy just took it and ran with it. And, you know, the rest is history. What gave you the confidence to go there? Because, you know, at the time we grew up, all we know is New York. Jersey's another world, mm -hmm. especially the part of NYC y'all from. It's, everything's up. Everything's a vibe. And you're going somewhere else different. And you're nice. You, everybody know you're going to the league. Yep. Do you feel like going that way might have jeopardized your situation? No, for me at that time, it was actually what I needed. Mm. Um, you, know, um, you know, at the time, you know, you know, you guys know, we, you know, growing up in Southside, you know. Just, just outside. You know, exactly. Yeah. All the way outside. You know what I mean? And, um, <laughs> you know, and just some things was, was going on that it was time for a change. Right? Just I just need a different you. scenery. Um, kind of focus on, you know, the, the goal, right? The yeah. goal at the time was I, I knew I wanted to do this. I right, well, let's put everything into it. You know what I mean? And then, you know, once I came to Jersey, the support I had here from family in Jersey plus the New York family, just kind of put everything together, and then you got a two for one. Didn't you move in with um, your brother Knight's family for like a little while? Didn't yeah, they? yeah, yeah. So um, my godmother, Miss Miss Clemens, she passed away. God, God bless the dead. Um, my son Chris, you know, Chris, um, he, he passed away too. God bless the dead. Yeah, um, you know they are, you know they are related to the Knights, Brevin Knight and oh, Brandon Knight. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you know I was staying with them for all four years of, of high school. And obviously, after college too, for a couple of years before, I was out starting playing overseas and playing pros. Um, so they've been very supportive, and they still are. Like to, to, to this day, that's my family. Um, and nobody will know if I don't tell them that we're not really blood. Then nobody will know. Everybody would think we are because how tight we are. Yeah, because you, Brandon Brevin, what what was it like seeing Brevin go pro? Yeah, and you were still in the house with his parents, and then you know his little brother's nice too, and y'all the family. No, what I didn't. I didn't live with them. Oh, oh you moment. didn't. I live with their aunt. Oh, okay. You know, um, I didn't live with them, but um, the the Jersey family was is, is the dynamic here was is different, man. Like they was like you remember like Soul Food, like the movie Soul Food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like like that's how it was. Like you know how we grew up. It's like you know you gotta try to fish on your own. Mm -hmm. Ain't no Sunday dinners. Ain't no nothing. You just if you eat, you eat. Yeah. You, know, mm -hmm. you know, out here it was like everybody, all the families came to one house, and you know everybody ate there for Sunday. You know, so that was. Know the vibe for that. That was a Sunday vibe, um, and that kind of is funny because 
I kind of took that and tried to bring that back to Queens to my family, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and, and do that. But now nah, they um, it was a blessing. You know, Brett was a senior when I was a freshman. Okay. You know, um, so he ended up going to Stanford. Yeah. Um, Why did he go to Stanford? I don't no, know. no, Brett didn't have a lot of scholarships offers. He was mm. like that in Manhattan. You know, going to Stanford, and plus you understand, like, like the the family out here, like they all about academics. Makes sense. You know what I mean? And Stanford is like, you know, uh, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. It's, it's Stanford. You know what I mean? Stanford. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like going to Harvard, right? You kind of mm. write your own ticket after that. Um, but it was it was a great thing for him. He went out there. He made the league. Yeah, blew it up. You know, um, played well, made All American, got drafted. I don't want to say the years he played in the league because I want to mess it up. But he played more than he, ten years in the he league. He played a lot of years. He you know, played. like you know, at least probably 13, 14 years in the yeah. league. And um, you know, and his brother too, Brandon, right? You know, right. Mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of scholarship offers. Went to Pitt, did well there, blew it up. Had an opportunity to play in the league for a minute, mess his knee up. Now, obviously, he's coaching, doing very well at Rutgers, right? So, mm -hmm. now they, they feel me, you know, hold me down for a lot of years. The success story. What's it like, man, when you get to be a McDonald's All American, man? That's, that's just a different feeling, and it's the whole country. And this is before the internet. It's either you hearing or you know about through magazines. So now you're on TV and, and you did your thing, my nigga. You know what? It's, it's, Excuse me. It's not, not, not speak. You guys yeah, good, man. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Be yourself. Like, I know, but <laughs> listen, I, 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 I went to day, Catholic school for listen, so many years. <laughs> listen, man. At the, <laughs> listen, at the end of the day, this y'all show, right? Uh, so you but, guys got to be who but, you guys are, right? You know what I mean? But I, you made an impact. I adjust to that, but you can yeah. speak, man. Just, you know, it, if, it, if it ain't real, it ain't authentic, it ain't real. Nah, but you know, like, if you know me, if, if you ain't going to do it real, don't do it at nah, all. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But, so speak, you know what I mean? Now, but that McDonald's All American, even how um, Esso talk about it, he'd be like, "Yo, hi, that was a moment for not only Jersey, Southside, Queens, no, all the crazy. Crazy, rappers, right? all of that, no, man." It's crazy, you know what? It's, it's you know, it's crazy. So many things happen in my, in my life, mm -hmm. right? Um, and me, I'm I'm different. Like, I never got a chance to really sit down and, and really reflect, re reflect on it, and think about it because I'm I'm always on to the next. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of how we was raised, and it's like, all right, well. Can't stand still, right? You gotta keep, keep mm -hmm. moving, keep moving, keep moving. Um, so the answer to that question is like people ask me questions like that all the time, and I'll say the, I say the same answer all the time. Like it was obviously in the moment, it was great, mm -hmm. right? But I never really sat back and said, okay, wow, like I played with such and such. I played with Kobe. I played with Tim. I played with Mike Bibby. I played with That's you, know, a class, you know, I played with Jermaine O'Neal. I played with Rip Hamilton, Stephen Jackson. Like the list goes on and on, right? Mm -hmm. Like because at that time I was like, yo, I'm trying to bust a you know yeah. what I mean? So I don't, it doesn't matter who I'm playing against. You know what I mean? That's just who we are and how we was brought up, right? Um, but now you look back on it now, I'm older, you know, and, and you know, you kind of, you know, I was on the, um, last year when I first got the job, I was on the, all the smoke, you know, yeah. with, with, with Matt and Steve, you know, and, and it's funny, they, Steve still talk about it, right? I remember seeing the episode where, you know, yeah, I called you was on it. Yeah. Yeah. I was there. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, so when I got on there, I'm like, Steve, you got to let that shit go, bro. He can't. Like you gotta let it go, bro. Like, you know, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, you did your thing. I did my thing. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like but it's, and, and, and the crazy thing is like, mm. I don't even know who <laughs> select the MVP. Like it got nothing to do with the players. That's like, you know, that's a McDonald's organization who select that. Mm -hmm. So obviously they felt that, you know, my impact on the game was way more than, you know, what he did or what anybody else did. And I mean, and, and be honest, shout out to Steve, man. Great dude. Oh, stack You know, fun, like yeah. I, I rock with him heavy. You know, he he's he's a real one. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? But at, at that time, it's like, you know, I guess they felt like my impact was more. You know, so that's I mean, you put on a show. Yeah, but when you look back at it, it's like this five foot ten kid from Southside made all these passes and won the MVP, and you're looking for somebody like of a stature of a Kobe, six six, dropping buckets down, and it wasn't seen, but the flair that he added when I saw him do it, and I, I'm biased. That was a Queens nigga flair that I saw. That's no, that, how we played yeah. basketball. And it stood out. Guard. And it stood out. At that time, it was special. We hadn't had the and one circuit go reach the world and all that. So the closest thing that you saw at that time for McDonald's for a pure point guard was shy. And if you think about it, the only time Magic had been out for a few years, so to see a dude having a flair with the passing, you might have seen a bunch of dudes like, oh, this resonates well, I, with us. I, I think what kind of happened was like, you know, you, you bring 24 top guys in the country together, mm -hmm. right? And, and everybody trying to do them, right? Yeah. Right. So you got to try to do something. And for me, I never really played with a good big guy before. 
Mm. You know, no disrespect to none of the guys I play with, because you know, I never, I never had a great big guy. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm playing with Cole, I'm playing with Tim. Like these guys, Jermaine O'Neal, these guys on my team. I'm like, I can feed them. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, 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 like this is like a dream come true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm with those guys. So I'm like, you know what? You know, all right, cool. Like, you know, obviously there was a bunch of hype. Who's the best point guard? Me and Mike Bibby. Like, Maybe it's know, an animal. You know, too. you know. So my thing was, all right, well, like, there's really no footage of the practice. The practices was bananas. Like, if you ask anybody who played in that game, like for those three days. We practiced, everybody was trying to go at everybody. What because, was it like? Because everybody, you got to realize, everybody that was supposed to be good from each position, that guy from the West Coast was that good on that position. You know mm. what I mean? So like Corey Benjamin, for example. Corey, like, he went to Oregon State. Like, right, and he yeah. played in the league, Chicago Bulls. And all yeah. Like he was the guy. Yeah. Right, so Kobe was like, all right, well, I'm going to dog him. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? So now you, you got Tim and you got a bunch of dudes from the West that's like, went for a from this guy, that guy that's good. Tim like, all right, I'm going to dog him. You know what I mean? So we, I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to get a mic. You know what I mean? So now it's like mm. all that stuff going on. So now when the game time come, we already went at each other for three days in a row at practice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now the game time is fun. But for me, I'm like, you know, if you watch it, like, you know, like the first one, the first plays of the game, I kind of hit Mike with the in and out twice. Well, uh, and, you know, and, 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 and score, right? But it's crazy, right? Because everybody now call it jelly, right? Yeah. Like, I, we were doing that. Hey, way, yeah, like, like, way I, back. I said, but yeah. be laughing. You know what I'm saying? But, I be telling them that. You know what I mean? So, but it was like that type of stuff. But then I'm like, all right, well, let me get into the bag where it's like, all right, well, let me hit a couple, couple guys off and make guys look good. And I think, like I said, I think at the time, the, the people who was doing it just probably appreciated that more. How did you think? What I what did you think when Rafer first got his name skipped to my Lou? That's what funny. was your thought about? Because I remember when he used to do all that trick shit, niggas would be mad as fuck when he would be doing that shit you know and what? doing 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 you know, It's funny because it's like you know it's you know like like you think back and like you super proud of people, right? Mm -hmm. like, like we all grew up together. We all yes. grew up playing with each other. You know, me, my brother, Deshaun. Ramar, his brother, and Rafer, like we was all on the same team, playing for St. Catholic, you know, CYO team, like we was all together. And, you know, and Rafer always had it. Like he, he, he always had it, ever since we was young, he always had it. Um, and then you kind of like, you see it and you kind of hear it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm with it, but I'm afar from it because I'm, I'm here, right, in Jersey. And you keep hearing anybody talking about Skip Tulu, and I'm just laughing. I'm like, you know, the stuff he's been doing. Forever. But did you, you know, know that was saying? him when they when they first started saying his yeah, name? Yeah, okay. I mean, that, you know what I mean. I yeah. didn't know it was him until I saw the video tape. I, 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 I was in, <laughs> in at, at, um, Morgan State already. Yeah, no, he he got the tape from playing uptown. Yeah, I mean, he did the name for playing uptown. Yeah, playing uptown. So yeah. when they were saying his name and they was talking about Skip to my Lou, I was like, who is this new dude? And then they whipped in the tape. I was like, that's Rafer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And when he was doing all the shit, I said the same thing. I was like, that's all Rafer used to do on the court all the time, and niggas would get mad. Yeah, no, and then he took it to another level yeah. up there. He, did. he took some, you know. And I think it's it's kind of like you're watching people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like he's up there playing with the dudes from uptown. You know, and they had it. They had it. You know, yeah. Ali Mo, all these those guys. You know, you know, like those those guys had it, right? And then you kind of do your own thing. You put your own flair to it. But now I'm super proud of Rafe. Man. You know, super proud of Skip. Um, you know what he did. Taking his career from a streetball player to the NBA, man, that was super dope, man. How hard is that transition? Because you have the flair as well, but then you've had to play in these systems. No, but he, but the player, no, he ready for play. Like he was nice. Mm -hmm. He wasn't just a streetball player. Like he was nice. Yeah. He, he could do both. Like he's mm -hmm. nice. Like high school, like a Cardoza, you know, like he did all. Quadruple that. doubles. Like he, he did all that. Like, that. Bro. like mm -hmm. he did all that. Like he AAU it wasn't really AAU back then. It was like you know some little travel team. Yeah. He he did all that, bro. Like he. Nah, 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 Skip was nice, man. You know, he don't, he don't get the props he deserves as a basketball player. Mm. People look at him as a streetball player. He's a mm, basketball, basketball player, player, bro. Like, he, he nice, bro. Tell me about I, when I was watching it, when you hit the winning basket, broke your ankle, whatever it was. It was a sweet moment, yep. What was you feeling like? Because you was, you, you was a pride and joy. You, you, you sent them to the final eight. But, you know, the, the crazy thing ran from that was it was like, you know, it took me three years to get there, right? You know, to the NCAA tournament, right? And now I'm on that stage, and all I'm thinking about is performing. Like, gotta perform on this stage. Like, that's the time that people make their names, mm -hmm. right? You know, you can, obviously during the season, it's all good, but when you get in the NCAA tournament, that's the time you make your name. You're playing against everybody, everybody's watching, and I've been, you know, my first three years, we didn't make the tournament. So I was just like, super focused on that. 
All right, we played Oregon in the first game. You know, um, I had like 27, hit the game with a shot. Um, so like I'm all, you know, gassed up. Obviously getting a lot of publicity, right, with that. Um, and then next game, we playing Temple. Um, Temple was the second seed. You know, obviously they had like Pepe Sanchez, some guy that was very good. Yeah, I remember Pepe. You know, yeah. one of the guys that was very good was the kid, you know, Mark Archer. You know, Archer. he was, he was phew, nice, nice. Mm. You know, and then, you know, I'm so, I'm like, I'm so excited to play against these guys because they the number two seed. Mm -hmm. You know, I just hit the game with a shot. You know, we, we feeling good about ourselves. You know, the first two, three minutes of the game, I went down with my ankle. It, was, it, was, it sucked because it's like you work your whole life for that moment. Right, um, but then you know, with me, I, I'm 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 so different, man. Every negative, I'm looking at the positive with it. Right, um, like I told my mother, I told my grandma, God bless the dead. Like I'm gonna be the first one in our family and our community to graduate. Right, so once when I, when I broke my ankle, now it's like I right, that's focus on this. Right, and I was you know, I graduated. And then the rest of history. Right, my daughter went here. She graduated. Now I got my nieces. I got my cousins. Everybody mm -hmm. now, that's the standard. Right, yeah. but before that. Nobody it wasn't, cared about you know what I'm saying? So, set the table. So obviously, yes, I wanted to make the lead, thought I should have made the lead. I worked my butt off to do it, but like, God put me in a different space. Now, right now, here you go. Because, you know, you know we, we from the same area, and everybody knew you was going to the league. And the fact, like, you and S, I know y'all brothers, y'all resiliency is different. The average person don't have it. They go into a shell and to... If your ankle don't happen, you in the league. Ain't yeah. no question. But it's a crazy thing, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, I talk to young guys about that right now. Right? Mm. Like, and, 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 I, yeah, I asked, so Randy. <laughs> I know you call him Randy. My name is Randy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, but, you know, but for the show, I'm going to call you know, with us. I'm Randy you know on the show still. Yeah, they still call saying? him Randy. Yo. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but it's like, like, how we grew up and where we grew up is like, it's almost a blessing that I didn't make it, right? And that sounds crazy, right? You guys, let me, stay with me. Stay, mm -hmm. you know, stay with I'm me listening for a to second, you. Right, it's like, because at that time, not mature, not understanding what's going on, the wolves around me, not understanding what's going on. So now you make it, now it's like, I, like I'm, it's a good chance I would've got set up. Some things would've happened. And he know I'm talking about setup, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, mm. and not, and it ain't from my people. It's, uh, we was wild. We like, was, like, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, we, it's, we it's was the environment that we're in, mm -hmm. right? And the, the environment that we was, you know, um, from. And I'm saying this with all love, yeah. because that's how we grew up. Like I got stuck up when I ain't have nothing. And imagine I had something. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, with that being said, it's like, at that time I wasn't ready for that mentally. You know, physically, absolutely, I was ready for it to leave. You know, mentally, I wasn't ready for it. Now you kind of fast forward to now, right? And now it's like I, I'm in a position now. Now I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Right now I know how to build a foundation. Right now, now you get a, a foundation in my grandmother's last name. Now you kind of put this aside for this, you know, you know this LLC. Now you do this, you do yeah. that. So now I'm in a position to say, okay, now I know how to help and give back. Then it was mm -hmm. like, all right, you know, yo, come on, let's go shopping. Oh, let's go to the club. Oh, we don't, you know, spending mm -hmm. wild money on stuff. It's like, nah, now nah, we know how to invest it. Now we know how to be smart with it. You know what I mean? And that's a, and that's a, you know, that's a gift and a curse about everything in the situation. You guys know, y'all in a situation where, yeah, nah, you know, bro. people just, they come out the woodworks, right? Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. with that being said, it's like, yeah, absolutely super disappointed that I didn't make it. Um, but I had a good career. I, mean, I, I played 10 years overseas. Um, I did my thing and I always wanted to coach. Um, got in coaching a little earlier than I expected, but you know, that kind of rest is history. Now you, and now we're here. But you maximized the coaching. I saw you as an assistant coach for years. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. I was one of the few people that didn't even know he was going to be at St. Peter's. I woke up and he was at a press conference. He was a head, head coach. He was bringing so many dudes to St. Peter's. And people were like, we don't know. When you went on that run, a lot of people had to call his phone and apologize. Yeah, see, see, you know but, what I mean? Right? See, but I'll be I'm sorry to you. cut you off. I no, had to but, say that, no, bro. No, I'll be honest with you. Like, but that's... That's just life. That's what it is, right? Yeah. But it goes back to what I was saying, right? Like, no matter what we do, we, like, I, I know every adventure that he tried to take in his whole career. Mm. But that's, that's my brother. Mm -hmm. I know all the stuff he's been through, like, everything. So, like, when... St. Peter's thing happened, 
Like, I don't care if it was St. Peter's. Not, that St. Peter's was my duke. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm playing, I'm playing St. Peter. Like that's that's my dude. That was, I, that you know, was I, all I do. I do. You know what I'm saying? That's our dude. So, so the first thing first, what what happens? Yo, 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 bro, I need you. First game, I need you there. Come DJ. Come yeah. DJ. Like mm -hmm. like we gotta get it rocking. Mm -hmm. Try to say less. We there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's and and that's how it goes. We here. Right? Yeah. We like we have a a midnight madness. Yo, bro, I need you. Get clue in the building. Yeah. What's up? And yeah, including the building. Like that, yeah. that this is that this is us. Mm -hmm. Now this 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 goes back to, you know, I might get in trouble saying this, but like this kind of goes back to like, I'm in college, right? <laughs> dig, dig, that this is crazy story. I'm in college, right? So, you know, you know, my man Snipe, Randy, you know, they were brothers hanging out, right? Yo, Sean, we need you to come through Baltimore. We got this blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, I'm like, nah, what? I'm there, bro. Say less. Right, so me and my man Reg, we jump in the in the car, get to Rand Crib, and it's night crib, we at the crib, like, yo, shot, we need you to play this game. Da da da. These dudes talking, uh, say less. We go to the game, we play the game, win the game. MVP. You know, we, we, we win the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know, we, we, we go Mark out. Mark Carter was there. Mark Carter was there. It was mad. Oh, it was you know, mad hey, big time ball players you know, in there. Like, my, my man Stink is there, who's now an assistant coach at, um, you know, uh, Central Florida. Boy, you know, he was I at just talked about time. UCF. That was the yeah, he was Miami at the time, right? So he was yeah. like he was, he was a guy out there. Mm. Like he, he was a point guard yes. at the time. Yeah. You know, um yes. you know, so like I said, so like that's that's been us. Yeah. For you know a what I mean? Like time. It, it, ain't, it ain't even like yo, nothing, yo, bro, yo, Sha, yo, yo, I'm at, yo, I'm at the final, yo, I'm coming to the sweet 16. I'm coming mm -hmm. to the like and I like yo. you gotta understand something, like it ain't even it wasn't even a call, like yo, yo, bro, I'm there. Yeah, he. You know what I'm saying? He, I'm a, I'm he in called Pittsburgh. me and said, he said, he said, he said, why you ain't asking for tickets? I said I wasn't going. My you wife went on the internet yo, and paid a thousand dollars. He you know drove me. That's how I got there. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like. But she was in New York and she's like, you gotta go to Shaw. Shit, he ain't got no tickets. But that's bro, crazy. Bro. But I'm just saying, like that's how crazy that relationship is. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, it's, like I said, I'm like, yo, bro, you crazy? You ain't buying no tickets. Nah, I'm there, Shaw. Yeah, we you drove. gotta worry about it. Then it got to a point where you gotta keep buying tickets because we kept winning. Mm -hmm. like, 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 like yeah. you can't mess up the remedy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told. Like, yo, fuck, you, you, you gotta, you gotta be there. You because know what I'm saying? What's, what's a personal moment? Because it's on the internet. Like when, when y'all won in Philly, I cried. He cried. Thanks. And then. I, I remember how excited, because he's like, this is my friend. And all the Purdue fans was like, yo, y'all deserve this. And then another moment is when he got the news what happened with your grandma. Yeah. And he's like, and I just remember he had to cry again. He's like, that's my dog and Sha don't know. Like, like yeah. that, your biggest moment. And I just was like, yo, I think it's going to be all right. He's like, huh, you don't understand. This is a rugged moment for Sha, and he just did one of the greatest things in basketball history, man. And yeah. I, that's so when you say the dog, this I'm just letting you know how real it is from the part you right, didn't you see. You ain't got, you his grandma, like me, on top, of his grandma was wild. She had the breathing machine on. You know, we were at fucking Liberty, <laughs> and, Liberty and, 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 and she was mad because Sha was taking cigarettes from her. Like, yo, you wild? You can't smoke cigarettes. Smoke so get the fuck out of here, nigga. Like, I'm smoking. I will ever forget. I said, yo, Sha. He was like, yo, she, yo, grandma, she be, that grandma. grandma be, 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 be wildin' out. I mean, we, we all know, we, we know grandmas. We, we, all, we, we all got our grandma. They do what they, what they want. They do what they want. They want. But no, it's, 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 it's real, man. It's, it's different. It's real family. Compared to when you went to school, because I, I know we don't got that much time. I'm going to get to the nitty gritty. Compared mm -hmm. to when you was being, being recruited to now with the money that the ball players can, no, can, can get, what's the difficulty? It's just scary, bro. It's scary times right now. Mm. It's good for the players, but it's bad for the coaches. Interesting. All right, so now it's a, it's a, it's a dynamic you got to try to get creative and kind of work with, right? Because, mm. you, you know, as a player, a former player, I'm like, yeah, you want the players to, you know, make some money, earn a thing like this. But at the same time, like, these dudes and they, and they peoples are out of control right now. Bro. Like, these dudes, I mean, if you guys only knew the type of money these dudes are asking for and getting, and my thing is like sometimes you gotta earn it a little bit, right? Like you know, like like certainly like growing up, like we had to earn it, like like play for us, like like do something in the game, you know, just to say okay, I'm gonna give you three hundred thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Not straight coming out of high school or straight coming out of the transfer portal, and like you haven't even played a game for me. 
Sure. You know what I mean? You and you guys want three fifty, four hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, I want three fifty, four hundred thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> As a coach, but it's different, right? Because it's like, like I never want this business, this game of ours to be a business, especially on the college level. Mm. It's a business now. Um, but let me say this: I don't want to come off like I'm hating because I'm not. Like I want the players to get their money. Mm. I just think we got to find a balance of how to do it and when to get it because right now is. It's not sustainable. But what does it mean, Shaw? Because mm. us on the outside is unclear. If they sign an and and I yell deal, is the college paying for that, or is that how it's a collector? Shorty story. got the Reebok deal. Yeah, with, all that. So okay. that's a, so. To be totally honest and transparent, that's what how it was first, like how it's supposed to be, right? You was able to get name, make money of your name, image, and likeness, mm -hmm. right? Um, and that, what that meant was you could go out there and get all the sponsorship you want. Go get them. You get a Reebok deal. You get a Nike deal. You can keep all like, that. Like you get a phone deal, whatever. You get, companies could do whatever they want. There's really no rules to it, right? But then the football schools got creative, right? Because it's football. Football rules everything. They got, they got all the money. They got the money, right? So now their donors are now called collectives. They're part of right? NIL. Yo. Right? So now the donors could say, okay, you're a donor, you're a donor, you're, you're a donor. I'm gonna give Seton Hall a million dollars to, buy, to, 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 to go out there and get any players, players they want. And that's kind of what is going on right now. So now the way it was mm. put in, the, the, the way it was put in place and with the way it is right now is completely different. different. So the, now, way, the way it was put in place, it was like, all right, well, because the problem is- If you want to get a car company, the, you can yes, get the car company yes, and, and you, can, you, is, can, you can sit on yes, the car and endorse the car. But the problem the is now is the young, these young men and young women is not marketable. Right, they don't know how to market themselves, so nobody going to buy them. Like nobody mm. want to go out unless you got a crazy following. Right? Unless like you got, Angel Reese. Like unless you got, and, and, and she had to, she had to win a national championship. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? championship Just to get to that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, you did. like if you got, and that's why I try to tell my players, like y'all got to get y'all followers up. Right, if you go out, and you got hundred thousand followers, twenty followers. Now, now a company wants you to do stuff for them because mm. now your two hundred thousand followers. Or seeing you, something. you know, wear their shirt. Uh -huh. yeah. They see you wear their shirt or wear their hat or you know, uh, a product that they produce, whatever it is. It might be a drink, it might be dealing, it might be under, whatever it is. Now your 500,000 followers are seeing that. Somebody from that 500,000 followers, maybe 50, gonna go out and buy that, so now it makes sense for me to give you this money. Yes. You know, so that's how it was first, you know, so do you first think supposed it's, to be. Do you think it's different now because if I'm a athlete, I'm gonna start looking at schools who got the richest alumni. Of course, as opposed what, to that's how it's going happening. to Shaheen. Now you ready for this? Go for. It. And I'm not draw snitching, right? <laughs> but it's always been like that. But everything was under the table. Now it ain't gotta be on the table no more. <laughs> now he's out in the front. That's so, how, mm -hmm. so think about mm. it, right? All the schools that always got the big players, they got them for a reason. Right? And I, like I said, anybody who understands this game they know what I'm talking the about. They understand the business. Yeah. Right? We yeah. Now you ain't got to do it no more. Now there's no more sneaking. Now, yeah. Now, now there's no more backdoor conversations. Just, now, now I ain't got to meet you yeah. in Liberty Park. <laughs> just, 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 just come to my office. <laughs> just come to my office. Just come to my office. I'm going to give you paperwork <laughs> and <laughs> all that. Like, and you with us now. You know, just come to my office. You know what I mean? I can let them come in. They talk to you. You guys, because the coach is not allowed to be involved with it. Right? So... The collectors who want to collect it, they come and talk to you, and y'all negotiate whatever deal y'all 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 want. Why the coach not allowed to be in them? That's part of that, that, <laughs> that's part of the, that. That don't make no sense. That, that's part of the one regulation that they're gonna give the coach. But, 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 Everybody else can be involved in it. But yo, you can come down to my office as the collective. You can talk to him, give him the money, and he say, I'm going to Seton Hall because you give me, you're giving you know me 500000 But the it's coach, in reverse the coach is a violation. It's a, yes. in reverse. Before, the coaches, allegedly in my mind, could find a way to get the players the money. Now the players can't give the coaches money. <laughs> No, it ain't even about the money. It's, no, about, but still. it's about being able, the coaches was the leader of the pack. Like, I, I can't interact. So, so we can't negotiate mm. anything. Mm. Right? So you play. Yeah. You got a son. Mm. I could talk to your son and recruit him. But when it's time for you to say, yo, um, what's up with you now? I got to say, yo, I'm going to connect you with... <laughs> I'm gonna connect you with with, with you finance. Know, I'm gonna let you with. I'm gonna, pretty much. I'm gonna connect you with the. I'm gonna you, connect you with the, the financial the department in the HR. The guy who won the collective. I'm gonna connect you with. I can't have no. I can't have no no yeah, involvement. Yeah. Work your thing and, out, and bro. And the crazy thing is, like, the guy for collective, he like you more than he like 
a play that's better than your son, you're gonna get more money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But so so players are double dipping, bro. What, what's so, so the people that's marketable, they getting the NIL, NIL and that other and they money. Getting the, and they getting the other stuff. And the other money. Yeah, so they some some like some they, dudes they really coming paid. up. Yeah, yeah, some dudes coming up. I saw I saw I saw Caleb Williams, the quarterback for um, the USC. USC, getting three million just from nah, USC. No, nah, no, nah, football's different, bro. Like, yeah, football's yeah, gone. Yeah, he getting three million just from USC. Think what Dion and and, the, and he's on commercials. No, nah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's yeah. different. Like so, for example. You own a car dealership, right? You my guy. You can say, yo, shot, listen, I wanna I wanna help you guys out, right? Um, I wanna give two of the players a car. You could, you could do whatever you want, right? You give them a car, you can say, yo, I own a car wash. All right? y'all car washes is free as long no, as you No, 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 that too. Or or you can say, yo, um, I want them to post about my car wash. And you can give them how much money you want. What I want, yeah, exactly. There's no, there's no amount. Limit. You can give them what you, whatever you want. Whatever you negotiate. Like, so if they, if they post twice a month or three times a month, you want to give them fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars, you can do whatever you want. So now, so mm. now, so Shit. so yeah. so with that being, you know, what I'm saying, saying I'm looking for an nil deal. So me as a coach, <laughs> so if you guys don't anybody out there, yo, look at me. Look, zoom the camera right here. Y'all brothers for real. Dude. I'm looking for all type of deals for me. Right, <laughs> but I think you could get. You know why I think you could get it. You had an incredible moment when you know you really spoke up for your players. Yeah. Talking about they, they from my area. I don't remember the exact quote. You remember how you nah, said it? I don't remember exactly. Like, like, I remember it was a tri-state thing. The like, tri-state thing, and yeah. that resonated outside of the tri-state. I was watching people. Now the good thing is, I'm, like, if anybody who know me know, I'm all about my guys. Right? There. So with that being said, there's anything that come across my table, I say, no, I'm good. Give it to them. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, like, we asking these young men to perform on the court. And then behind you, like, it's because of them, we're in the position that we're in. Mm -hmm. Right? So anything that happens, I always say, take care of the players. Yeah. I'm good. I don't need anything. You know, all these companies come to me, ask me, you want to do deals? Now nah, I do deal with the players. Um, I, I got so many deals for my guys because that's what it's all about. Like, to me, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about them, man. But that's why they would want to sign with you. That's another, I, I, I was just about to say that. Mm. That's another quality. There are other reasons why people would sign with somebody instead of money. It's like, it's like, I, I go it back used to be. ghosts. Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, but you have, but you, but you yeah, have, but, but, I, I, but, I but the saying. fact that you're willing to share is a mm -hmm. bigger deal because yeah, if fact. I'm not marketable, and I know that my coach is gonna share money with me, fact. I'm more inclined to go where I know he's caring about me. Yes. And I'm not saying, all these kids, yeah, the top kids, yeah. But there are kids on this tier that are gonna be top. All them top kids don't always get drafted. They don't pan out to who they are, mm -hmm. who they supposed to be. And some of these kids that take two to three years to work, go on and become bigger, better pros now that's, than these and, other kids. I'll be honest, that's that's kind of my MO, right? That's kind of been our MO even when I was just at the coach at Senior Hall. Like we kind of go after the three star guys and make them five star guys. Mm. Right? You know, and, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, but the difference right now is it's is, is, is tougher. It's tougher to recruit right now because NIL plays a huge part. And that's what everybody talk about. I mean, I have conversations, fellas, and I'd be, I be totally honest with you guys. The first thing coming to their mouth, like, yo, I'm a, what's your name? And I'm like, geez, bro, what's fast. up? How, how you? <laughs> what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, let me shoot my shit first. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, let me talk my talk first, and then we could kind of get into that. Get but into geez. The money. But I want, I want dudes to want to come play for me, right? And then when you come play for me, Obviously, I know today's climate, that's part of it. You got to get paid. But, but I want you yeah. to come play for me, man. Like, I want you to want to be a part of it. Because if you're a part you of it, because if you're a part of it, then you're going to run through a brick wall for me, right? And I'm going to run through a brick wall for you. It's like, you know, back in days, growing up, like, you, you watch the females play double dutch. Mm -hmm. Right? You got guys one foot in, one foot out. I don't want you one foot in. I want you 10 toes down. And if you end, everything takes care of itself. Like, I tell my players all the time, you, every time you step on the court, you're auditioning. Yeah, but what you mean? So think about it. We play in front of 10, 15,000 fans, 20,000 fans. In person. So, so you auditioning yeah. in front of 20,000 fans. Then TV. Our, our TV deal with Fox Sports is in 30 million homes. And now you got 30 million people watching you. You're auditioning every time you play on the court. Then so, the internet. So, so, so my thing yeah. to you guys, perform. You perform, you don't get anything you want. Look at the area we're in. We're in the biggest media market in the country. Well, mm -hmm. Right? We got all the coverage. You go out there and perform, you're going to get anything you want. 
And that's the thing I wanted to talk about because when you made your run, your personality, how you carry yourself, it's magnetic on the television. And what I'm saying, how it translates, the market share of basketball is really getting to the point people are a little bit diverting from the NBA. You can watch the big three. You can watch college. You was telling me about Leaky Roof, how dudes are now clamoring. Not with Leaky Roof. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I just seen the um, report that they said they're investigating the NBA for Ice Cube's league for anti-competitive behavior. Mm -hmm. You're a threat to a lot of other basketball situations currently, not on purpose. But if you got a big personality at coach, just like how they got um, the dude at Alabama or Dion, and you got winners... Oh, no, no. Like, I don't need to watch the league right now. Like, but you know, you know what's crazy is, is I was stuff getting watered down a little bit though. College, right? Um, In what way? Because you getting like now you got you know, OTE, overtime. Overtime. Yeah. And now they so now they allowed to play the players from high school. Like so you, you can get paid now. Yeah, you know, five hundred thousand. Right? And, and, and they can get you from eleventh grade. You know, and now you got the G League, right? So now you got different avenues that we didn't have. Mm -hmm. Right. So now a lot of those top players are going. The yeah. overtime you know, yeah. the, the half GU, a million. That GU, uh, G, was it G League United? Ig Ignite. Ignite. Ignite, all Ignite team, like, team Ignite. Like all that type of stuff. So they got different avenues and different you know, ways of getting there now. So now our job getting harder. So now you put this, now you add this component with the name, image, and likeness. Bro, this, this, is, like, this is a straight business now. Like this ain't even college sports no more. Like I, I tell people all the time, like these guys are pros. The only thing they ain't doing right now, they should have like, uh, they, they own, um, on crib and no, not not crib. What they, what, what's it called? Union. Oh, they they union. union. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Yo, like for real. They get money because at the end of the day, like, and my job is to educate my guys. Like, y'all guys get a lot of money. Like, you better pit. You better hire somebody. Pit that up. Tax it to the side. Yeah. Like, they gotta grow up faster because, now. Because because they're mm -hmm. coming. Like people want their money. They're coming. They're coming. You for know what your I mean? Money. And all these young dudes flashing. I'm getting this. I'm getting that. You tell you telling yourself. You know. No, you ain't. Be quiet, I ain't getting nothing. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Because now you've because you've been talking on your back, right? Not just with the wolves outside, not just with the RS, with the females. You see, I see what's going on right now. Duh. You know what I mean? Like, and 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 it's like, and I and I I, I have a daughter. Right? So I ain't talking crazy about females. I love females, but it's crazy right now the the way everybody trying to come up. Everybody trying to get it quick, right? So I tell my guys all the time, be smart. No means no. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know. You tape us, make us say yes. I have not, <laughs> not, That's not, real shit. Not make us say yes. So but I, no, say that. Get, I have us say yes so you see it, so you have some, some, but, but some proof. Because, because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? If you guys are reading every day, whether it's the internet or whatever, you know what I mean? Cases in college that this is happening every day. And you like don't that know. young men is, is, going, is, getting, is going down yeah. for this type of behavior. And some of them are crazy, right? Like you gotta, like you gotta be super smart because you're in the limelight, bro. Mm. Like you said earlier, there was no internet when we was coming up. Right now it's the internet. Internet don't internet's undefeated. They don't lose. No, mm. they don't lose. And they are putting charges on you and then they are coming back so saying later smart, man. that they lied. And, it, it's, and it's nothing for them to be and, like, and, I lied. And, 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 and some knuckleheads out there, dudes that are doing crazy stuff they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, they doing and some, that. Some female, and I don't want to put it all on the female because No, you just like, but, but you live the life though. But I'm just being real and I tell my players this all the time. Like you guys gotta be super smart. Right, because like people are way more. ain't known to be smart, though, Sha. But but people say that, but that's not true, though, right? Like why not? I said known. I said known but, to but be. Why not? I'm just saying. Well, see, that's a stereotype that's out there. Uh huh. Mm. Like they like like you're a dumb jock. Why? Why? Like why I'm a dumb jock? Because I act like it, right? But no, like 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 some of us, some of us are super smart and super intelligent. We just mm -hmm. act dumb. Why? Because it's cool to be dumb, be dumb now. Dumb now. And like, nobody wants to be cool, right? Being cool now, people call you names. Yeah. So now all the cool dudes want to be dumb. Like, no. Mm. I told my two sons, it's great to be smart. Yeah, yeah. You crazy? So I'm making a smart. grip off of being smart. Smart is what's the, what, what helps me stand out from all the rest of the people. I ain't going to care. Like, it's great to, it's great to have a head on your shoulder. Can y'all two please explain to me how, because um, Essa was telling me, like, you're the reason Kobe didn't go to college or he, he was going to go to college. Kobe, what, what I heard was Kobe was only going to go to college if, if he played with Shaheem and Shaheem was going to be point guard when they were going to go to Duke. So, so that's, that's, you know, that, 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 that story could go a lot of different ways, right? Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and I want to be super careful with that because yeah, he's, he's, he's not here right now yeah. to tell his side. 
But yeah, so Duke was recruiting both of us. Mm. You no, know, yes. Um, um, but but Cole, man, you know his, his you know his, you know he, you guys gotta understand the way he, he came up. Like when we was freshmen and sophomores, nobody knew Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Right, Tim Thomas was. Tim Thomas it. was that dude, and, and, it, and it was, you know, Ronnie Fields. Like it was nobody oh, else. Yeah. Right. Um, now Ronnie Fields, he, he broke his neck. You know, um, Car accident. Yeah, so Ronnie Phillips broke his neck. So then, like, junior year, we started hearing about Cole, and then he just shot up. Um, I don't think he was ever going to college, to be totally honest with you guys. You know, Diaz, I gave him a crazy deal, um, him and his family. And I think that that, that kind of, like, trumped it. Wow. And you got to realize, like, nobody was really making that jump. Like, nobody was doing that. Before it was just KG. That was no, it. before, like, but it was, yeah. like, back in the yeah. day, people were doing it, then it stopped. No, it stopped. Like, yeah. so, 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 the then, last person was Moses Malone. No, so 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 then KG did it, but people don't understand. Y'all, y'all know how many people in my class did it? Yeah, Jermaine, Steven did, Jackson, Steven Jackson, Kobe, Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. Oh, like yeah. that class, people don't even talk about that. Like that class, you know what I mean? That class was and ill. Rip went on to UConn, mm-hmm. and won a chip. Champion. Bibby yeah. won the chip at Arizona. That chip. was an mm-hmm. ill class. But I'm saying like three people from that class skipped college. Yeah, yeah right? Because uh. Steve Jackson was supposed to go to Arizona. Something, something happened with his grade. Something happened. I don't know what happened. Then they said junior college. Next thing you know, he was getting drafted. You know what I mean? So did you and Kobe ever talk about that MVP thing? Because he's so competitive. You no, know, Kobe. Like I mean, man, you guys gotta realize, like Kobe. After that year, like so, the McDonald's game is at the end of our senior year. Mm-hmm. Right? Then we going to college. Remember, Kobe's in the league, right? So it's like. Ain't, like, like, ain't like, give a damn about like, no, like, like, no yo, McDonald's like, on American like you MVP. see him, but you don't see him. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, like, yeah, remember, like he, he's in LA, you know, stuff like that. It's crazy because last year when I first got the job, um, Gary Charles, shout out to Gary Charles, good dude. Um, it was an award that he gave me um, in Vegas. And Kobe Bryant's father and his sisters was there. And me and his sisters was tight. And I haven't seen them since. Yeah. The McDonald's game. Oh yeah. wow! No, excuse me. The, after the McDonald's game was the Magic game. I haven't seen them since the Magic game. Yeah. Um, and it was great to see them. Like me and his dad talked. We we kicked it. Um, but to answer your question, now we never really talked about that. Um, and nobody never really talked about like. So what's understood is what's understood, right? Because, you understand that, right? So yeah. that class yeah. was so good that like like it's a little good. Mm-hmm. My, you know what I mean? Like. I, but Steve kind of brought it to light because he had a platform on all the smoke. So he brought it to light about him not getting it. And then that's, it kind of, you know. From there. Because from there. I remember when we did the interview with Steven Jackson during Corona, he had talked about how Kobe had the kill list even in high school. So it was right before the McDonald's All-American yeah. game. So that's why I'm like, I know he sees Shaheen doing his thing. No, no, He's always spoke highly no, but, of you. No, but we all was there. But, like Shah, said, he said, but, 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 but Shah said that at, at the beginning when he said, oh, this nigga was just as good as this nigga. Mm-hmm. So I'm going out there to bust his ass. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm going to kill. That, that was the difference that I, I think from when I played ball. Yeah, niggas might have been friends. Even if I played uh, against Shy, he didn't give a fuck. He wasn't talking <laughs> to me on the court. No, no, no. He wasn't taking it easy. No, no, no. If anything, it was I'm going hard. I'm going to murder you. So when I get off the court, I'm talking shit to you on laughing, cracking mm-hmm. jokes. So and, I, I, and it was I, still I, cool. I yeah, mean, it was still cool. Like, but it, see, that, see, that's the difference in this era and then my era. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell guys all the time. Like in my era, we never teamed up have like an all-star team. Everybody had their own team. Like I'm playing this guy, I'm playing like now these guys are all teaming up. You got five all Americans on one team playing AU. That never happened. Like you got you got five guys going to the same high school. That never happened. Once again, let's go back to the beginning of the conversation. I went to St. Pat's. You can't name three people that was on the team that was picked no disrespect to them. We had a good team. We had good pieces around me, yeah. but no star players like that. And then you add Al Harrington, my senior, he was a sophomore, he barely played. Mm. That Al, yeah. Al barely played his sophomore yeah, year. Yeah, he barely played. Like he wasn't like he was just coming to his own. Because he came from Jamaica too, ain't he from Queens too? Didn't he come from Jamaica High too? Nah, that was Corey. That was Corey White. Al from Jersey. Oh, Al from yeah. Jersey. You know what I mean? okay. uh, and yeah. he's another one that skipped too. He skipped college. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but you know, after that, you know, people start doing it. Right. Um, but yeah, like no, like nobody has super teams. Like, like I didn't go to college that had five all Americans here. No, I was like, I'm going to see them all because that's gonna be my team. Same thing I did out of high school. 
Mm-hmm. Every every place I went, I set the trend, and I was never going nowhere to be a part of something. I wanted to be that person, and I was like, "Ain't anybody gonna come play with me? I'm not going to play with anybody." What was it like playing in Europe or overseas? You know what? To be honest, I didn't really experience like I should have experienced it. Right? Like like mm. now that I know I'm older now. Like you probably should have took in. I probably should have went sightseeing. I probably should have did this and did that. <laughs> you know, so I could tell my kids stuff, right? I didn't do none of that. I'm like, all right, where's the party at? I mean, in the gym. That's it. You know what I mean? And, what was you know your what favorite mean? party city? Oh, man. I ain't going to lie. You know, for real, for real. And I don't want to say it because I know what's going on, but I love Israel. Interesting. It was, you know what? It was caught me off guard because... I played in Tel Aviv. Yeah, I've been there. It's like Miami, bro. Uh, it's really? on the beach. Oh my goodness! Oh. It's like that ghost. Uh, listen, you don't understand, bro. <laughs> yeah, if like, you say, because like, y'all always like, know y'all listen. Bro, listen to me. <laughs> Go to Tel Aviv, bro. <laughs> right? Like obviously, right now, there's all that stuff going on over there. Yeah, right? and, you yeah know, but that was before. And I got. I don't want to get involved with the politics. No, no, nah, nah, that's that, that's right. Mm-hmm. But like that was like like Tel Aviv was really good. Istanbul and Turkey was really good. I heard about Istanbul. You know, um, I played in Germany, Frankfurt. It was cool. Um, Italy was cool. I didn't, the part of Italy I was in, I didn't like it. You know, I was in um, Reggio Calabria. That's like near Switzerland. I, I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't in Rome. You know, like <laughs> I wasn't in Rome or Milan. Like the, the nice parts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and not that it's not. No, we New York that, City dudes. Not so that we it get... wasn't nice, but like, like when I was there, it was like a movie for real. Everything closed at five, six o'clock. And I'm like, yo, we gotta practice at five o'clock. I don't know how to cook or what I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? You know what I mean? Um, um, what was the pay like? It was good. Did they pay you all your money up front? Did you like, get like, weekly checks? So, no, so I got, you get monthly checks. But the, the, the key is trying to get the majority of your money up front. Mm-hmm. Because some, some countries don't pay, bro. Let me cook said the same thing. So, so the key is trying to get, you know, at least a quarter of your money up front. Mm. I mean, half, they ain't gonna try, they ain't gonna give you half, but. Unless you that that dude, right? But try to get a quarter of your money up front. Um, but the thing with me, I like because I have all type of bonuses. Like I, at my contract, you know, you get X amount of assists a game, X amount of points, extra this, extra that. You know, I had in my in my contracts because um, I didn't cook, so I had like two meals a day in restaurants around you no know, places like 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 that. But now um, I had a great time, man. You know, I played in London. Um, mm. so London was cool. Um, London it, sound like it was crazy. It, it rained a lot. Though. It was foggy. It was kind of kind of kind of crazy. Everybody said. Um, but uh, Trafalgar Square is kind of like a mini, a mini, uh, a mini uh, New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They did try to make it like that. No, that was years ago. I'm sure it's better now. No, no, no. They try to make it like us. Is what I'm saying. They've been doing it before us. They, we, they, we're copying them. I'm gonna say no because when I was over there, like, you look at Times Square. Bro, like, oh, no, 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 let me the, listen to what he said. You understand? Those I know. People, but yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying is like so we look at Times Square, right? And you look at your father's square, right? And like I said, it was years, right? So now I'm talking 15, 18 years now. So I'm sure it's it's completely different. But it's like I'm saying that they were trying to be like us because it didn't look like Times Square. It, they were trying to make it look like Times Square. Oh, you know, with the lights and the, the thing it was I'm sure now it looks probably better. Yeah, it's probably. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I mean, you're talking about 20 years I'm ago. I'm talking 20 years ago yeah. where, where it was like, okay, well, we, you know, countries starting to invest in, in things. Times Square has always been Times Square. square. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They own it. They own Times Square. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just was like, you know, we're we going to do it up here too. Yeah. But they already, they, they, it's their fault that Times Square even, even, even there. Yeah, I, I'm not debating that. I'm sure you know more than that than me. Like I'm saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, like when I seen it, you know what I mean. I, my thing, like, oh, okay, this is me, Times Square. You know what I mean? That's all. I got one last thing to yeah. ask you. What's up with X? How you feel about your son's basketball career? Because mm. I know the secret. When you was pissed, when you was like, he, he looked like he playing still the bacon out there, and now, and now. <laughs> The next taste that I saw, X is dribbling, hitting jump shots, going crazy. He, 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 he's at the game. Are, are you grooming him? You know what? It's, it's funny, man. Like, this is like this gonna blow your mind. It's like, like, like we didn't have people teaching us to play basketball growing up. Mm-hmm. Like, we just go in the park, we watch. Mm-hmm. You learn, you play. Right? Obviously, you know, we, we try, you know, patting our game behind people, right? Yeah. Like for me, like God bless the dead. Like Dave Edwards was the 
was everything to everything me. Everything Queen. Me, 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 me too, Dave. You know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? God, God bless the dead. Like, everything. Mm-hmm. Anybody who played in Southside Jamaica, Queens. In, in Queens, period. Not just Southside. Queens. Dave Evans Dave was, was Dave. Now, Kenny was Kenny Anderson. Can't take yeah, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny's a god. Right? Really but, but Dave was the... The killer. But, but, but Dave was the... And I, I want to say this with all due respect. Like, Dave was like the, the, the ghetto hero. Yes. Mm. Like, because all the hood dudes, because he, he lived it, he walked it, uh-huh. he, he, and that was him. Mm. Like, he ain't try to go out and try to be somebody he's not. This is where I'm from, from 40 Projects. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. I'm proud of it. No. And now all of us are like, yo, look at Dave. Dave. <laughs> we going to do what Dave is doing. Yeah. We going to do what Dave is doing. Dave was like, I tell niggas that all day, Dave yeah. Edwards, yo. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, mm. so with that being said, and then, you know, for me, it's like, and my was like West, you know, nobody talk about West. West Nelson. Like West Nelson, like black gold, black know, gold in the building. You know what I'm saying? So those are people that like I watched and say, okay, I'm gonna do that type of stuff. Nelson. And it wasn't really working out with them. It was just me watching them going on a, the, the side courts because the main course I couldn't play on, on the side courts yeah. to kind of learn. So I'm saying that to say, like, with my son, like I I don't even work them out anymore because mm. like I can't. I took I got him to a place where like at eight years old, it's like okay. Now I gotta let somebody else do it because I don't want to mess up our father and son. Because like with me, I'm gonna push him. Like I tell him yeah. all the time, if, you, if you're gonna play this game, you're gonna play this game. I've seen you like, coach on the sidelines. Like, like if you're yeah. not gonna play this game, then don't play this game because you got a buzz out on your back already, right? Mm-hmm. Who you are, my son, your last name. Like people are gunning at you, right? Now you got all these people that's filming him and putting him on YouTube and putting him on the internet, and other kids are seeing that they're like, All right, I'm gonna dog him, right? So I'm like, Yo, if you're gonna play, bro, you gotta play. And to him. He was like getting it before COVID. Like I'm talking about, he was like, I was like, yes. COVID happened and we're in the house for two years. You know, we ain't letting him go outside. So now he lost like the love of it. You know what I mean? It's cause now, mm. cause, because he never ever played video games before COVID. We ain't let him play video games. Yeah. But now you're in the house. I'm like, you're go upstairs, you know, play. You know what I mean? Because you're in my face all day, right? Mm-hmm. So now we trying to get back the love for it. Now, like he plays around with it, but when he's focused, it's pretty good. But now I gotta get him focused all the time. So I don't really, I don't really work out with him anymore because like I'm super hard on him. Like I'm hard on him. But we we was coached hard. Yo, you had the hard, y'all JYO niggas had the roughest coaches out. So we, we were coached hard, mm. nigga. Like yelling, screaming, throw water bottles at you when you do something fucking stupid. Right on the court. Stupid. Get out the game, stupid. Yeah. Straight up and down. So all we know is. If you wasn't coaching us hard, we wasn't paying attention, bro. Mm. No, nah, and it's crazy. Like you watch me coach now, I coach with passion. You coach nah, hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I coach like that because that's what I know. He, like, he don't even talk you know to niggas saying? before the games. Nah, he in the I, zone. Yo, yo, I, I seen it. Yo, I drove to Providence to come talk to him. Niggas like, yo, yeah. Shot don't talk to niggas before the yeah. game. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> this nigga not gonna talk to me. Before. Yo, leave him alone. I'm looking at this nigga the whole time, looking like this. Yep. I said, this motherfucker really ain't gonna talk to nobody. <laughs> That's a funny ass nigga, cause you know why? If that was me, he'd be like, get the fuck out of here, Randy. I ain't fucking yo, 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 son, come over here. Let me no, I won't you, because, because you know, like I know you're in a different element now, right? Mm. So like, like, like y'all doing y'all show, like y'all doing all the stuff y'all do, right? Now I'm a supporter, right? He support everything I do, right? That's my brother. I'm trying to support everything he do. So no matter what, like I gotta understand. Like I tell my guys all the time, you gotta understand your audience, right? Uh, you, gotta, you gotta understand your audience, right? <laughs> so, 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 kind of with that being said, is right. It's like, okay, well, if I'm in a space where I'm pulling up a, a show that Rand's doing, I'm understanding my audience. I'm understanding he's super locked in, he's focused. I'm gonna let him do it, do it, do his thing, and afterwards we're gonna. Do what we, we, whatever we, we do. He right? don't even believe you. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> He's talking to me specifically right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, no, because I'm, like, like, no, I'm being honest, right? So it took my people to understand that about me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, so my brother, same thing. Like, my brother comes to the game, my family comes to the game. Like, I was like that as a player. Like, as a player, I didn't, I like, I wasn't laughing and joking. Like, I'm, man, I'm, just, yeah. I can't, I can't front on you, Sean. I'm, I'm ready to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, so as a coach, I'm the same way. I'm like, I'm ready to get it. You know what I mean? And, 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 I'm super appreciative of dudes being there. And I don't want to take nothing for granted because he drove four hours, him and wifey, to come support me. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I felt awful. I wanted to, I wanted to go to dinner with them afterwards. Yeah, He's like, nah, nah, we good. So I'm like, nah. Y'all drove all the way up here, brother, probably. Like, nah. And we won. Yeah. We were crazy. Yeah, we won. Like, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Like, that's going up. But, <laughs> but like, that's, you know, like, so I'm saying to say, like, certain things I'm just, like, when I told you guys earlier today, like, be yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, like, this is y'all show. You know, be who you are. You know, talk, who you t- talk how you talk. Because with me, it got to be real and it got to be authentic. Or I ain't doing it. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, is like, I'm not ignoring Rand. I'm not ignoring my no. brother. Or knowing what, what I'm doing is like I tell my players all the time, yo, your mother and father and your coaches, call, no, focus. So what I look like Can doing I, the, the complete opposite that I'm telling them to do. But right. part of that also it makes sense. You guys know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, because I don't know if y'all talk about it, but he talks about it with me. He be like, he feels like he's on the coaching staff with you, and he's <laughs> and yo, real shit. And he said to me, yo, I gotta go to every big game Shaz at, and I was like, why? Because he wins when I'm there. If I'm not there, I cost him a chance to elevate as a coach, elevate as a job position. That's real shit. Yeah, but that's, see, that's, that's what you guys don't understand. Yeah. That's what people don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like, when you have real, genuine relationships, bro, mm-hmm. and you really wanted your brother to do well, All day. you feel like that. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I didn't know, but I'm not surprised when I broke my ankle. Or like when grandma passed, or we lost, like he cried. Like, I'm yeah. not surprised, bro. That's who we that's are. That's family. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and and if he didn't do that, that's a problem. Right? So I'm not pinning, you no, know, his business out there. Like, I am like, yo, what's up with I know, I know you know, what what's up, mean. what's going on home? No, they they trying. I'm feeling that with him. Yeah. He told me. Did you, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, bro. He like, yo, I'm gonna try to make it. No, take care of home, bro. You ain't gotta come this one. That's more important right now. I know you with me. Mm-hmm. But that's 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 how it is. That's and that's how it should be. Oh, damn. And real genuine relationships are like that, bro. Some shit ain't real, and some dudes ain't real, right? So when you don't have that realness, then then you have the fake stuff. Like so, you don't feel a certain way about driving for hours and before the game. I don't say nothing, bro, because he understands me. He know it. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I don't feel a certain way if I come to his studio. He doing something? Nah. Like I like I'm understanding my audience. Like mm-hmm. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm here for support. I feel you because when my wife is driving me somewhere and we going to film, I be like, yo, cut the music off. Yeah. And she be like, why? I be like, I, be like, Cause Cause I, I need the, I need the zone right I, I need the focus. Think, like, I, I need, I need I, to I think really of what I'm going to say or, like, even mm. I'm not going to say it, like, if I get caught off guard and somebody throw a monkey wrench, I got to be able to pivot. Yep. And boom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I might be, he, somebody might say something, I got to be like, oh, wow, I got on the spot, I got to think. You know you feel what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And real dudes, we know, we don't write things down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Seriously. That's like, what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, we, like, so every interview I do or every, like, it's I speak from the, the heart. That's so, how you know I saying? do it, so, too. So when mm-hmm. I go and do yeah. something for kids or I go do a speech, like, even my press, you watch my press comments on, like, I ain't, like, I ain't speaking. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. when I'm doing those interviews, like, y'all watching when in the tournament, like, I'm being me. People like, yo, he's super dead. Like, no. That's who I am. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to be nobody I'm not. So when dude asked me a question, like, yo, how you feel about Murray State trying to out tough y'all and thug y'all out? I laughed. I was like, I said, I'm going to say something that come off wrong. It might come up, but no, that's what we do. We thug people out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I got guys from New York, New Jersey, you think we worry about people thugging us out? That's what we do. So you watch my St. Peter's team, that's our MO. That's how yeah. we play. Yep. I'm trying to get seen all to play that way. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was the, you know, that was the quote. You know, that, that's, what, that, yeah. that's what I said. And that was real because then I was telling Rand, the crazy thing is like, you know, um, after the Purdue game, you know, um, you know we get, I'm getting an interview on TV and the lady's like, what, what did you say to your team? Right? I said, you know, I said, what, what are they going to say now? And it's so ill, right? Because mm-hmm. now you're seeing Golden State say it. Now you're seeing people no, saying it, right? It went right? crazy so, when you said But the crazy thing is people didn't understand what I was saying. When I was saying this, I wasn't just talking about the media for the Sweet 16. I'm talking about my whole fucking life, bro. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My whole life, I'm beginning to doubt it. Like, now nah, you can't do this. He ain't going to be able to do this. I, what are they going to say now? What, what you going to say now? There's always something. And there's always our people. Right? It's always the dudes from my hood or dudes from another hood. Or dude, it's our people. Because that's just what it is. So that's what that comment was about. So I want to be very clear. Look at the camera and say... That comment was about was my whole life, our whole life, 
people were talking this. All right, what you gonna say now? And that's bag fuel. That's it. Like, subscribe, Woo. super thanks. We here live at City Hall. Thanks to one of my best friends in the entire world. Love my bro. man Heineken All here, day. Space, Space Ghost Ghost. behind us. Support Seton Hall. We will be at all the games. First game is November 6th. Be in the building. We yeah, will outside. be. Bow. Appreciate you guys. Love. Can I get a, 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 a guilty play? Can y'all both say South Side, we outside? <laughs> 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 Only Queens niggas can say it right. <laughs> we good. We good. Mm -hmm.